All right, let's head back to the NFL Week 10 action between the Titans and the Chargers. But first, I want to tell you about a special we have going on at Wager Talk the rest of this week. Rest of the season, college football or NFL, $50 off. Choose the handicapper of your of your choice. Coupon code FBALL50. I've got five consecutive winning college football weeks going for six in a row this week. Uh, coupon code FBALL50 works for that, and it works for NFL as well. So check that out. Any handicapper, and that coupon is good for the week. The other thing that's been great for me has been these YouTube free pick videos. 6-0 and now, the past two weeks. Uh, in the YouTube free pick video. So like and subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel where you will find five videos in total this week for me in football. And I've got another one for a Friday basketball game. So we've got a bunch of free picks this week. Hopefully we can uh, replicate that effort from last week because again, six and oh, uh, three videos each week and all six have won. All right, Titans Chargers. I really gave some thought to the Titans last week. Uh, ultimately, well, it didn't matter because the Titans pushed uh, against the minus three against the Patriots. But a big reason I didn't make that bet was because the Titans were so banged up defensively. Um, cluster injuries in the secondary did not look good going into last week. And to be quite honest, I think that the Titans were a little bit fortunate to cover there at the end or, or to push um, the Patriots, you know, that great play to tie the game at the end. I thought they were going to go for two and go for the win, which would have, you know, given the Pats plus three, put Pats plus three backers the cover either way. They decided to kick the extra point and fall by three in overtime. But it looks like that injury concern is is still the same this week for the Titans. And I think the move up here to like seven and a half, maybe a juiced seven and a half, some places, uh, is in line with that. Legarius Sneed did not practice on Wednesday, so. I think you're going to probably have a pretty banged up Titans defense again here. Now, you'll get away with that against the Patriots. I don't think you're going to get away with that against Justin Herbert. It's just a better offense. Uh, and again, like the Chargers are just in more of a position to exploit those Titans defensive uh, deficiencies than the Patriots were. So I think the Chargers move the ball here. But the real reason I like the Chargers so much goes back to what I said last week. The Chargers were a 4% win for me last week, and I just pointed out that their defense is, I think we can call them elite at this point. Uh, they're a top five defense in the league. They're great against the run. They have a fantastic pass rush. Uh, I think it's reasonable to say that the Chargers have an elite def NFL defense at this point, and just look at what they've done to bad quarterbacks the last two weeks. Spencer Rattler, Jameis Winston, neither had a chance. How much of a chance are you going to give Mason Rudolph or Will Levis here? You, you know, neither of those guys are guys that, for me, I want to back if they have to throw the ball. And the Titans, I just don't have much confidence in them being able to run on this very good Chargers run defense. I, I've now had action on the Chargers back-to-back -back weeks, and, and I'll even go back to two weeks ago. I was on the wrong side of Chargers uh, Saints. I had Saints plus seven and a half. I made that bet under the, you know, a, a big reason I made that bet was because the Saints had so many offensive players coming back for that game, but it didn't even matter. They still couldn't move the ball because they had a quarterback in Spencer Rattler that was ineffective. And then he was benched for an ineffective Jake Hayner. So it was, you know, you had two, you, two ineffective quarterbacks right there. And then, of course, last week, the Chargers go up against a quarterback that's not the best passer. And Jameis Winston, and what does he do? Throws, throws three interceptions. It's a blowout win for the Chargers. So I don't see how it gets any better here for the Titans. Uh, Levis has been a guy that's thrown it to the other team all season. And Mason Rudolph's a career backup and, and not someone that I really think, you know, can, can, is going to really challenge a team having to, you know, make throws over the course of, of four quarters. I know no one, I know everyone sort of, um, you know, hates on the Chargers, says they have no home field advantage, but, you know, you're still having to travel out to the West Coast here um, for the Titans. It, it just doesn't feel like a great spot. Now, I will keep an eye on Khalil Mack. Uh, he did not practice earlier this week, but as far as I know, he's on track to play. Again, pass rush for the Chargers is good enough where I, I think I would just, 
trust a, a top five Chargers defense here against the Titans offense that I just don't trust to be able to move the ball through the air. And then on the other side, I'll trust Joe Burrow. I'm sorry, Joe, Joe Burrow did, did a different video earlier. I'll trust Justin Herbert to be able to move this Chargers offense down the field, make some big throws, and have control of this game. So I'm going to give you two picks right now. I will lay the seven and a half with the Chargers for the sake of the video here and providing a free pick. But I am going to provide a bonus free pick selection, and that is a money line parlay with the Chargers and the Giants. Now, if you're looking for my handicap of the Giants, that's one of the videos that's up on the Wager Talk YouTube channel right now. Um, spoiler alert, I like the Giants minus the points in Germany. So an extra pick here. I'll give you the Chargers on the spread minus seven and a half. The line is up there a little bit, but I still think that this could be a pretty big blowout. I don't just don't have much faith in the Titans uh, in this spot here on the road. But if you don't want to lay the seven and a half, I really do think a, a money line parlay chargers, we'll call it minus three fifty right now. Looks like what the, you know, what the market is on the chargers giants minus two eighty probably comes out to like minus one ten, minus one one Oh five, maybe like even money. I think that's a really good bet. So two free picks, Chargers spread, Chargers Giants money line parlay. We'll be very, very surprised if the Chargers lose this game. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wager Talk YouTube channel where you can find all of my free pick videos, which come into this week on a 6-0 run. And follow me across all platforms at Adam Trigger WT. I'm doing unique content on Twitter, on TikTok, and on Instagram now. So make sure you're giving me a follow across all three of those platforms. Don't forget the coupon code FBALL50, good for $50 off of any handicapper's picks, NFL or college football through the end of the season. And I hope you guys all cash all of your tickets, week 10, NFL. Let's have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next time.